Got some mail. Coles. Nice sprinkling order in there. What did you get from Coles? I think they wrapped this bubble up or something. Huh? That looks good. Looks fine. Perfect. I'll put that in the vault. I'm going to collect these and then uh, great resale value on this one. It's like a storied box. This box is a story where it came from. Someone's going to pay extra for that. It's perfect. All right, my inventory page, part out log at the bottom of the page. You can see we did 11 of those guys. Some of the guys I did the um, separate, just the way it works, I don't know. That's because I added some complete figures. I didn't have any left for sale this guy. So obviously I parted out eight, but it was really four complete figures and four I parted the figures out. Seven of the aliens, six of the snow guardians can part those completely out. Even though I sold out of those on eBay, I decided not to put them back up there because you could actually make more by parting it out here. Uh, I did three, part out three robots at five complete. I didn't get very many of the first uh, batch of stuff I got, so I didn't get a chance to really add many at that time. I think I only had like four robots out of 150 packs, maybe it's six, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if that he's rare, more rare than any of the other ones. I don't know. I had 108 packs today and got eight of them out of that. So seven of the raccoons are parted out, six of the night protector, seven of the horse and groom, five of these guys, and I took five for eBay. I parted out all 13 of these guys because I got a ton of them last time too. I don't know what to do with them. So part them out. I parted out all four of the chili peppers. Part out all 11 of the bird watchers. So um, but I didn't add all the, the birds. What else did I have? Oh, the night protector. I had, I had, I uh, got 11 of these. So, got, I didn't, I didn't end up putting these on eBay the first time. So they're going, this guy's going, and then I'm going to put these 10 as well. So now, time to move on to the, I'm just going to open all the packs for the marble. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Hit my desk. Um, move my stuff up. It's, and then take off at 3.30 to go to the post office. Paid for 100, which are right there. And then there were six extra, so that's nice. And then I had this, I had a couple sets of them and I took some out for some reason. I'm not sure why I needed parts. Um, so I'm gonna part those out too. There it is, the lineup. Yeah, I got some good stuff. She's always the most. I forget her name. Gamora's a lot. Vision is, is always a lot too. And Bucky. Those three. I know her always had a lot. And then a Scarlet Witch. Captain Marvel. What's her name? Uh, the Falcon. I'm very pleased with that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. We got eight from our new packages. One I had from the sets. This is a really good one too. The Zombie Hunter Spider Man. That is a really good one. It just sells out so fast. So, not very many of those guys. Or Loki. Tomorrow, so I gotta get to the post office now. Oh, I found one straggler. And that's the uh, Snow Guardian guy. Another one of those guys, which is nice. I'm probably just gonna put on one on eBay because I already have a listing for it that's sold out. So, just one more up there, and away we go coming folks out the door got some mail from the p.o box along with some of those some you usually find these a lot in bulk like ebay buys but i have not been buying them that often so i need to buy some this is it the final frontier I don't know how many of these I need. I just bought everything they had. It's down here. It's bleeding in a box. So, 
I needed four one by eight blue tiles. Apparently, I checked it off. Anyway, I just re-verified this on, on BrickLink, and this is what I had that I needed. That, steal four of those, and tomorrow I will get this for sale. Finally. I think I have a better box now. Because that's okay, but it'll make it. All right, we're back for Tuesday. Just got everything pulled here. Nice uh, Star Wars order there. Yeah, castle order, both, both of my dragons. Which is really good. The Knight of Ren. Jeez. And one Tom Brady football card. Here we go. Alright, got that all ready. Program is ready. What is it? 540 we're starting. So we ended up getting 16 orders in the last 24 hours. And still averaging about a 500 per day in the last three days. So that is awesome. It's great. So 244 lots. Let's get this done. The last order is here. Just hit 20 after 7. Let's get this done. I'm just working through these. Uh, how do you process these? This is the third time that I'm doing the Marvel Studios, so here's an example. I thought it'd be good to show. Gamora, I had three I just added to eBay that's already a listing, so there's only two, so I now have five for sale there. So that was three, then there's four more, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of them. <laughs> so I checked my Brickling store, I only have two in there. Um, so that's where these four are going. So that leaves those other those other six here that I'll probably part out. Because I have complete sets and minifigs and just a single minifig in Bricklink already. So I'll probably just part those out. The hair is really good. The head is actually does sell. Um, it actually sold some torso legs maybe today. So um, that's how you do it. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go get my Brick World stuff down and see if there's any that I should should add to it. Um, that I was uh, gonna try to find out which one it is. <laughs> it's one of these. They're not all labeled. And not all the right way. So I'll find it. Hey, it was the top one. So looks like I have definitely enough Gamoras for for now. So. I don't have any other of these except one complete set all together. Um, just open bags, just seal back shut. So I am, I do have a plan of buying at least a hundred more coming up though. And I'll probably be the last I buy of them. I'm just getting a feel for if I need to throw anything in here. Definitely no Visions, no Lokis, definitely none of her. And we got Falcons in here, that's good. Scarlet Witch is good. Zombie Spider-Man is definitely good. Chala style is definitely good. Bucky's good. Sylvie, I'll probably throw two in there. Zombie Captain America. I think I have enough. As long as I have five of each, that's kind of what I'm shooting for. And uh, so, just Sylvie looks like it's going to be able to throw in there. Those. All right, I just got off a call with Ralph, and we got the new uh, updates in. Still working on a few other things for me. Um, let's see, so what he did, he had, well, we did the colors. Something on the shipping screen that you won't be able to see, but this is the one thing I asked him to do. I'll show you here. Space it. He added the price. That's nice. So, dollar. So, so it, it gives the total of all the items, so uh, 10, and then what is his per item. So I did ask him to put that in there, because I'd like to see that and kind of number wonder if I want to order new things if I need to, um, things like that. So, it's a nice order. 
Got some, uh, ooh, yeah, that's good. Little stuff, little stuff. Ooh, more castles. Wow. I like those orders. Anyway, thanks again, Ralph. It's a, it's a great, great program. Yeah, and he was showing me what he was parting out, so thanks again for this. I just bought eight of those. I was really struggling to find a large quantity of stuff for people to sort for me. And this will do, I probably won't have it till next week, but got eight of those coming. We'll get lots of parts added. I, and I checked the uh, new parts. I, 180 of these lots will be new to my store, which I was like, that is definite buy for 39 bucks. Definite buy. All right, going through some brick, uh, brick -like order here. And we got to my desk and I got to rebuild the eBay store. It's before lunch still, but we're good. So I came to this Volcathon, Brickathon, whatever, a bunch of two stores, and they're closed for like three months now. I buy these, for these guys, I had in foil bags. If you just change the hat, it's another figure that sells for $1.50 more. So I add that, and I bought some other bulk things. So I'll get the, get the item count up for this order. Just stuff that I don't have. Hi, I might have saved a part. I don't know. I don't know. I know that when I did the, the minion poly bag, there was a um, situation it's not here with um, delete with an I. Maybe I solved it. I don't remember. Anyway, I am gonna look here. Remark. See, if, so I saw this I in here in what three three seven. Wait, three three seven. Let's see what's in the drawer. I could just be losing my imagination. Yep, it's not in there. I found it, yeah. I love it when I find parts. So, I have to take these out, count them. I don't know why I just deleted the lot and not put it under the lost status like the other parts that are lost, but we found them, yay. All right, after that barrage of uploading, let's check our numbers. At uh, just after 11 here on Tuesday, January 25th. Man, I hit 12,000 lots Saturday morning. And we're still struggling there. And I don't know how to use my computer here, so we're gonna back up the camera, manually go down, and there you go. 379, 776. Things are just selling, and that is a blessing. It's great. Keep it selling. Oh, I got a cart. There it goes. All right, just took my lunch. And I got a mail. Uh, this store, I placed this order after I actually deleted my wild list. Last week I needed dark green legs for the swamp monster, swamp creature from Scooby-Doo or whatever. So I always went to their store and grabbed stuff that was a good quantity and price. I don't know, do I even need it? Most of the stuff I don't need, but just gonna add pretty much it all back to my store. Besides these legs I got for one reason, I keep these Dr. Doom legs. Most of them, some of them. Who's this guy? I don't even know. It, it must be a dwarf from Hobbit? it. I'm not sure. I'll find out later when I add it to this store. But these are nice. I never, I've never had any of these elaborate hilt ones in the dark, pearl dark gray. I did not even know they made them. Stocked up on those. All right, here we are again, going through Bricklink orders. Just got two more to go. There's one on the table, actually, the one with all the bulk stuff. And um, I don't know why this happened so much. I mean, it's so obvious that this has a damaged issue. It's a tooth mark on it. They call themselves Brick Specialists. And this is supposed to be Harry Kane. Not the right torso. I didn't really check the other stuff for cracks, but stay here. Um, yeah, those look good, but it's so obvious that one. It's a two dollar and fifty cent head, so obviously I'm going to complain about that because that's not acceptable. Just generally used. It doesn't say anything here. It just says block open stud. So, uh, quality is just frustrating. All right, I think orders are done. Just almost 2.30 here. 
and uh, do some good stuff. Um, this is the best. Uh, I just got that head, and it's beautiful. It is a thing of beauty. So, yeah. Anyway, I had this torso in this order. I have no idea why it would be on my list, or why I would order this torso. <laughs> it only comes on two uh, minifigures, and I'm definitely not trying to make those minifigures, but... Anyway, I went ahead and made one. Just put it right for sale. I don't know how that got on my list, or how I bought that. Just got this. You're invited to try out eBay's new listing experience. Be the first to use our advanced photo and video features. Track more buyers by adding videos to your listings. No time for that right now, but... Sounds great. Sounds really good. Not stuff for I do, but if it's something expensive, um, maybe. Oh, I should try it with the Space Please set. Ooh. I'm going to try it out. All right. Got an eBay order dropped off just in time. Uh, I think Bargain Hunt Books is the name. Sent me a message saying these are on sale. So thank you so much for telling me that. Uh oh, it came on sealed. I should call Lego and get another one. It's not sealed. These aren't new anymore, are they? No, they're still in the plastic, that's good. We're fine. Um, yeah, these are like 10 bucks, I believe. They're going to five, so it's like the cold weather. It's like zero degrees, negative 10 is our high, and as, as a wind chill today, so. I love that, it comes with that guy. It's cool. I mean, I have a lot of these heads and hair pieces and stuff already, and but I don't have that torso. I mean, it's still good. For 10 bucks, you get three minifigs and I think I'm just gonna part them out. If I don't have a lot of these parts, I am getting one three of these. I didn't, really, I didn't show it on the thing. It just, it said it once I got my receipt or an invoice from Lego that I got, I'm getting something free. So I was like, oh, they're sending, are they doing anything free? Anything free? I could have made, made it two orders and got two of them, but not so worried about that. I'm not, if I was trying to get a bunch to part out, I would maybe do it, but I'm not. I'm just gonna put this for sale, my convention stuff. Most likely, I don't know. We got five of each. Yeah, five. And nothing really special to this. I don't know why I really wanted it or got it. Because I guess it's it's four heads, right? You get you're really getting it for the heads. The torsos are not they're okay. I mean, but you get four heads, so that's exactly that ten bucks. You get other pieces too. Probably not the best deal. Regretting it. I'm regretting it. Anyway, the best part about this is uh, I was just about to get this done. I was like, I have this box I was going to cut down to make it smaller. And this will fit exactly perfectly in there once I get it cleared out. I'll use this box to send that in. Time to get that photographed here. Well, the video was a failure. I tried it and it just kept on trying to upload it for like, I waited 10 minutes and it never uploaded it. So. It's failed. You may fail on that, that front there. Anyway, so I did it here. It's gonna go, uh, it'll go with my regular sale. So this will drop below 200 at times on the weekend typically. Um, but I did put best offer. And I, I see a, a comparable one. Where is it? This one. It has the box with the inlay and everything and it sold by it now wanting two. So that's probably where I wanna get, don't know. Um, you know, because my box doesn't have the inlay or the inner tray, so. But it's definitely complete. I double-checked it. It's not going to make that mistake again. I checked Replicable and BrickLink, and it is complete. I actually had to order more parts after I thought it was complete. And we got it. Um, I'm also going to put a listing on BrickLink. I don't typically do that, but for bigger things like this, I'm going to just throw it up there. All right, it's morning. Sold something not Lego today. Well, one sports car, too. G.I. Joe, Secret of Spy, and I paid five bucks for it. Sold it for 11. Had it for sale for seven, eight months. It's a record in there too. So it's uh, 545, just got done printing all my stuff, so gotta wrap all this up. And move on to an innovative new uh, Bricklink Brickhow order program that is even more efficient today. We'll look at that. 
Alright, I started the command over here in PowerShell, and all I have to do is click this, this link here. And we're going to see the magic happen. What? Another huge day. I had no idea. So the improvement here is to print the labels. You should have to go to, into each order, copy the address over and underneath that, go back to the order, copy the order number over. But now all I have to do is hit print labels and they load. So I can show you over here without showing you the addresses. On the other side of the order number is a name and address. It corresponds, I don't have to put them in order anymore. So that is just amazing. I'm trying to find the print button in my screen. And uh, I think this will be a second page, just has one, but print them in color as well. So awesome. The beauty. So the name and address are underneath this side here. It's all in order from how the program will pull it up. And so great. This today probably saved me six, seven minutes, but when I had to do 40 on Monday, that was annoying. It probably took me 15 minutes to get through that. So, I mean, every day you save something, so why am I still talking about it? Get to work. Here we go. Here's a nice order. Heading out to that uh, Lego store in Oregon. Got the big bird. I, that reminds me, I gotta process the rest of the stuff we should have back there. So awesome. Another amazing order packing, picking, packing experience, 737. Got to get the spreadsheet on my laptop there going for pirateship.com. Get this done. Just turned to 748, so 10 and a half, maybe 11 minutes. All tracking numbers are uploaded in BrickLink to the order. drive throughs are sent. I do nothing but put this to the mailbox now. That is awesome. All right. So there's no stopping now. Got the mail out of here. Here's my list of goals, I guess. It's basically set. We did all that. We did everything I didn't need to do yesterday. I felt like I didn't do much, but we did it. So these, all this is for my help coming at noon. So don't really have anything for me, but I'm gonna get these taken care of. And then instantly, the bad parts need to be bagged up for Brickworld. Uh, we'll sell out real fast. People like them. Uh, I'm going to start working on these. I'm going to take, take the small bags first. Um, so, all I have left Lego Movie, Simpsons, Harry Potter, and then two CMF bags. Like the regular series stuff. So, uh, start on this. Let's get done with these and we'll see where we're at that time. Got through all those bags. I really don't want to do that. But usually I do the work I don't want to do first so that it motivates me to get to the stuff I want to do. Right? Is that the way it works? Don't know. All right, I got some helpers arrived, and uh, I got had gathered up 11 of these. So they are getting parted out. Lots of snow troopers and scout trooper. I'm still working on the Lego movie. We're getting there. All right, we got uh, the snow trooper or whatever at Hoth, Battle at Hoth, whatever it is. 11 of these parted out. Four figures are going up to Bricklink here. So a thousand more parts. And we carry on. I've been uh, pulling new drawers the whole time. I've filled up every single uh, empty small drawer that had any room from previous sales. And we are, you know, probably somewhere around here on the cart there. So the, the rest are empty right now. Then we have all those left and then from there, we go to 41.05 and catch up with some of this stuff. So, keep getting exciting to finally break into this section of the small drawers here. 
pull these sets out from the depths. Need to be complete. I don't even know what set number this is. I have to look it up. Um, but we're gonna get that torn apart. Part it out, I guess. All right. So we have this Heart Lake Salon set. Part it out. Whatever it is. Let's see. I'll show it here, I guess. Heart Lake City's Hair Salon. Got a bunch for 16 bucks, and on top of that, uh, you know, Kohl's Cash, which is 10 every 50, so you know, they're 20% off that. Um, and I use Kohl's Cash to buy more or something. I don't remember exactly the whole situation, but I probably got these on average for about 17, 18 bucks. Not the best part out. We're really stretching to get sets right now, but. Um, there's good many things I can get some good prices for um, higher than what it shows here. So what we uh, the main question is what's new? 62 new lots. That is very good. So I like anything that's close to 50% new lots as we are going to we're, we're stretching. We might get up to 12,000 again today. I don't know yet. All right. We have the uh, barbershop. We call them the barbershop. Sounds better. I did too many figs each, so it's a really good part out. Let's just say there were 20 times nine is 180. I mean, for the amount of time I spent on it, you know, minus what I had for cost for sorting, but it's very good for me. And so I'm gonna part out two figures and put five each on eBay. So I added two complete, two parted out, and five on eBay, and uh, 2,200 more items. Very good. And what's next? What is next? Watch out. Oh, it survived for a while. It's not surviving any longer. Goodbye. All right, we uploaded it. No many things are in here. So 75 for one set, 80 for the other four. Uh, don't know. Can't do the math. Uh, 2,000 parts almost. And we upload. And they're gone. And we I didn't put any like so the minifigs, which are plenty. Is it five minifigs in there? Plus two wargs. There's literally seven items in there. I'd say five of the seven go for over 15 bucks each. So very good. Very good part out. Let's see our numbers. Did I do it? Did I reach 12,000 again? Yes. Second time. There it is. And what's our actual number? 385. So, great day of uploading. So, here are the uh, parts. <laughs> New parts. And I just put this drawer back. Uh, and this is the last one I put parts into, so. We're into the side of the wall. We are into this side of the wall. Moving on up. All right, uh, Thursday morning. It's 20 after five right now. I got all the eBay order stuff pulled. So the, the last ring ring with the horse. That's a nice step. Nice order there. So I got one, two, three, four single part pieces. So I might be one in there too. I'm not sure. Um, but that's starting to really be nice in one day. One more 24 hours. It's selling. It's selling and I'm adding a few things today. Um, so this guy is playing the Chiefs. I hope the Bengals make it. I like the underdogs a lot. People are like that. I'm like that. Uh, in this box here I have this thing. I paid, I want to say I paid three bucks for it. At a rummage sale this year. Multimeter, muscometer, something about distilling. And I offered, they offered 12 bucks, I took it. And, uh, yeah. I think it was free shipping, I'm not sure. But it's in here. So I got that. So I'm going to get this done. Move on to Brooklyn and Brickell. Uh, there's another fixed uh, Ralph's order pro pulling program on the addresses. You probably won't even see it, but it's been great. All right, here is our Thursday workload. 
It's the lowest of the week. Definitely. Um, that's good. That's okay. Good? Is it good? Sure. I don't care. I like little breaks here and there. Talked about it a lot. It's good to have some days where it's just not going to take you that long. Um, so we have 14 orders, 156 lots, only 500 items in those 156. So that is a fast, fast pull. Um, because there's not much to count out. Which basically just go to a drawer, grab one or two, three sometimes, maybe five sometimes, move on, next drawer. So, good dollar amounts, definitely. And uh, I already printed my labels that Ralph added this print label option. So awesome. And uh, he's using it now, so that is, that's good. He's, he's evolving, innovative. He's, I don't know what he is. He's great. <laughs> I keep saying it. This program is awesome. So all you do is go down and start pulling, and it will load the first order for me. And uh, show me space bar it in. One eleven is two. These are these are part of the new Birdwatcher series twenty two legs, which I sold a few already. I just uploaded it on Monday. Is that Monday? Yeah. So this person's buying more stuff. Like that. Now we have to go all the way to 1,118. That was a long journey. I got both of these from, from Anna from Frozen Disney CMF. All right, let's get this, this job done this morning. Space bar. I'm gonna wear out that space bar. We're gonna try to pull this order. Um, 15 of those, I'll count those in a minute. 13. So one of that one. Ten of this. Ten of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is three. That's this one. Three of the Spider Mans. Two. That's a cool sticker sheet. I love it. to go to drawer 23 now. <laughs> I gotta get find the last 10 of these ones. This is my original sticker drawer. Which I'm never putting stuff in it anymore, but there's still stuff in it, so I have to like dig around for 10 of these ones. Or, no, it's not those ones. Is that one in there? No. It is uh, the race car ones. These ones. Let's find them. All right, I have, the, I have the last part over here. This is like an evolution of how I stored stickers. <laughs> um, but here's the full order. I know this person, I remember the name. They do follow me on Instagram. I'm not sure about watching videos, but I've interacted with them there. Um, so I might do a post. I don't know how to tag them, so that'd be cool. Um, this is the very first thing I ever put stickers in. This drawer, I just, until it was full, I stopped and started a second drawer, <laughs> which I think is right here. So this drawer still needs some help, but it's not bad. I haven't, again, haven't put anything in there in well over a year now, or about a year maybe, I don't know. Um, but from there I'm like, why am I digging a lot into a long time for stickers? So I started putting them in single drawers. So this is the last part of this order. I gotta get those out of there. Uh, but then I went to this, which I saw, I see a lot of other sellers use. Um, there's three different sheets you can, you can get these ones at Walmart easily. These ones I think you get at Walmart, uh, but you can buy them on eBay, just at least 10 of them at a time. And these ones the same thing, these are for postcards, four pockets. So I get those three sizes and it works well. Uh, I kind of have too many extra pages in there right now. 
Um, so it's causing my folder to watch a break. But anyway, nice order. The last part. In here somewhere. Just have a bright, light orange elephant trunk. That's it. 6.57 a.m. I should be done shipping by 10 after 7. Easy. All right, that's it. Let's wait to say it is. It is, yeah, get it. Whew. Gotta take care of this mess. So, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Um, I'm getting some NBA cards. I put it off since last week. I have to pay my Michigan State sales tax because it's due a lot faster than regular taxes. It's like due by the end of February, so I may not do it today, but it's on my list. At least I'll push it to next week because it's not at that point, but it's got to get that set up and send a payment. Uh, three videos, list, part out use sets. So first thing I'm going to do is get this taken care of, and then I'm just going to sit down and list everything that's been photographed. So which is all, I just put it back over here, but it's all ready to go. I decided to put these instructions on to eBay. It's only like a $1.50 on Bricklink, but then the weight of them is like a half a pound, so it doesn't make sense, but I've actually had good luck with instructions on, on eBay. So I'll do that. I don't have to mess with my free shipping program on Bricklink, so. I know someone's gonna buy that for a dollar fifty or two bucks. I was gonna put it for two twenty-five, but I'm just like, nah. I'll put it for five plus a shipping charge on eBay, and they will sell. So that'll be a low cost for what's on there. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Thank you.